Hello guys and welcome back to some more World of Tanks. We're in the Ragnarok, um, <clears throat> the tier 8 premium. Um, it's got the, one of the best money boosts, uh, silver boosts uh, in the game. So I do like to take this out quite regularly to uh, keep my uh, silver up um, as I'm trying to go <clears throat> grind out my two tier 7s, which will be uh, one of the second games uh, second game will be in my tier 7 Polish tank. It's fully upgraded now and that's made it a lot better um, as you all see. Um, obviously it's helping at the moment because uh, I'm actually playing uh, when it's still the plus one minus one which is awesome um, especially when you're grinding tanks uh, it's a godsend really. Uh, so you're on um, uh, assault on uh, Pilsen um, and obviously we are I think we I cannot remember if we're facing tier 9s or um, in this game but we'll 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 find out soon enough uh, spotting someone there get my first shot into this guy um, fairly hard to hit these the, those those tanks but because they're so low to the ground but they're easy to pen once you do hit uh, I'm gonna push up to the middle here so see if I can get get shots uh, f at both sides because um, uh, unfortunately most of the team's gone one flank um, but looks like the t uh, the enemy team has done the, done likewise but we are actually going to try to support this flank as well because um, we don't want to be have our team f being flanked here. Um, this guy is going to just YOLO in. I've got one shot in. Um, now I'm not. I'm thinking about reloading here because I don't really want to push here because um, I'll probably get caught out and killed here. Um, so I do start to reload, and then I realise there is actually a couple of more guys that have uh, come over to this flank. We are one tank down already, so that's not great. Um, so we do have two uh, tier 7s in the game but not many I don't think it's mainly tier 8s by the looks of things um, yeah the enemy had a bit of disadvantage they got a platoon of craft panthers so we have more tier 8s than they do uh, actually yeah maybe it doesn't there's no tier 9s in this uh, I was looking for that tank to come across but it actually was behind a building so um now we're free, free up. Um, well, for equal, uh, equal amount of tanks uh, on both sides now. Um, we have one artillery. Shouldn't have to worry about artillery. This guy makes a crazy dash across. Now we tracked him with the first shot. Put the other two shots in and wiped him out. Took a hit. Um, fortunately, that hit my loader, so I have to repair, uh, take, put my loader um, back in because that'll be um, well me pretty much screwed for the whole entire game if I had uh, my loader out of action um, so I'm just kind of hiding here for I'm trying not to take any more hits and I'm almost fully loaded and I'm gonna um, gonna have a go at this flank because they're pushing up now for some reason they're crazily pushing up he bounces um, unfortunately that shot doesn't he gets taken out just as my shot I was thinking about reloading um, but I managed to put another shot into that guy uh, and yeah just um, they're, they're, they've lost the game pretty much um, unless they can hold out for six minutes of course but I doubt it uh, the advantage we have this guy is coming across not fully loaded yet I'm gonna try to bait a shot but someone else has taken him on so I'm gonna come up and <clears throat> try to unload all three shells into the back of this guy um, I'm still worried that there's uh, might be people back at the other uh, behind him that are not spotted managed to put a shot in we just go for it at this point we can take a hit and we finish him off and that's taken us nicely over 2,000 uh, over 2,000 damage we're gonna have to reload it again um, <coughs> um, that's the problem with um, um, games in auto loaders when your team absolutely wipes the floor with the enemy you can might not only be able to put in a couple a couple of uh, clips in 
and if any of those bounce and misses a bit of a, yeah it's a bit of a tragedy there's cold stole cold st uh, yeah well whatever it's called he's dead uh, put one shot into that guy gonna try to track this guy bounces do track him uh, I've reloaded uh, well trying to reload and gonna try to take out this artillery uh, I presume he's down here uh, I haven't actually seen him fire all match so I have no idea where he is um, and we're gonna go over this way and unfortunately he is not over here um, so well, well you obviously presume he's gonna be in hit this area or is it gonna be in the KJ12 area uh, but he's not actually in either of those areas. He obviously must have moved once he realised the team was getting wiped. Um, you know, we'll see him in a two seconds. Unfortunately, we don't get the killing shot on this guy. Um, but we do... Yeah, there we go. Managed to get a shot in and track him. So there you go, guys. We've got uh, just under 3,000... 500 damage 500 assistance so we got about 4,000 combined and we got not many kills but as you will see from the results uh, this isn't the mega mega re result in this thing you know it's not even a first class but I earn 146,000 which is awesome um, I think I get a second class um, but I am very much at the top of my team in this one for damage wise uh, nearest person's just got about just under 2,000 um, so yeah we did we did pretty good in that game um, and yeah that craft path for uh, platoon obviously kind of well if they worked well we could have still uh, held held the game but yeah there were a bit of disadvantage when it comes to uh, tiers of tanks uh, top tier tanks anyway we're gonna go into the next game which is my Polish tier 7 and it's on Dukla Pass um, yeah um, I think this is my first game after fully upgrading it I think so you know uh, and it's gonna go it's gonna start what I think is gonna be starting really badly I'm going to go to um, the JK, JK89 area uh, and go for that flank um, at the very beginning of the game. Doesn't look like any of our team uh, is going to go with me. Um, I like tanks pushing up that way but... We are top tier as well, so that obviously helps. So I don't want to um, show off too much about how good it is fully upgraded. But and obviously um, plus one minus one at the moment makes it a lot easier. Uh, obviously, facing tier nines uh, in this thing, it won't hold its own very well. I don't think. Um, yeah, because a lot of a lot of tier nines can uh, have big old guns. Um, they still haven't uh, committed to uh, committed to the plus one minus one, and I think they should do it like they're doing at the moment, but have uh, the plus two minus plus two minus two uh, on the odd occasion, you know, on the odd weekend, uh, for those who still really enjoy the plus two minus two, and I I, I don't mind it sometimes, you know. Um, uh, I can have some amazing games uh, in plus two minus two, you know, like everyone else. But um, I think it should generally be minus one, plus one. Uh, so I, seeing if they can, they're going to push. And he gets unspotted because they took out the light tank, unfortunately. So that's, we're one tank down already. But um, yeah, that light tank's just. And that was a bit of a lucky shot. Not completely fully aimed in there. Uh, but we we actually do a big old bit of damage. We're three tanks down, so it's not looking good, right? Um, and we've only damaged the tier six uh, light tank, uh, and something is spotting us up. I'm guessing it's that Leo, uh, actually. 
Uh, and there we go. That's that's quite good alpha for a tier seven. Um, so we're enjoying that. And yep. Oh, it's actually Tiger One that hit us there. Just a um, bit of bad luck there with the RNG and the Leo going ducking down. Yeah, I'm worried about this uh, Tiger. We put a shot in. He misses two shots. Um, misses first shot on us. I think. Um, I think that's the only damage we do to that Tiger. But he uh, puts a lot of pressure on us for the whole game. Um, this guy's pushed up right next to us, but he's now dead. There's a boiler maker. All right, okay. And that Leo's there. Just sat there out in the open, and of course our shot goes into his track. Doesn't, but doesn't even take it out. We are now just all of a sudden. We are now. Oh, that's a T twenty nine. We don't want to be doing dealing with that guy. Um. Yeah, we are now uh, doing better uh, than the enemy team. We've got five uh, five kills and they've got only got three. So that got turned around pretty damn quickly. Um, so we've now got that Leo on the hill there, the T29, and that Tiger 1 to deal with. Yeah, it's not the best. Not the best there. Yeah, that missed. That was a very... Um, Chancy shot at the best of times, even fully aimed, and we weren't even fully aimed. Um, that T29 has gone onto the hill now. I think we take a shot here. Yeah, we take a shot from the Leo. That again, not fully aimed, managed to hit him. We're just over a thousand damage. Uh, that Tiger one's being kept at bay by that one of the tanks on the our ally tanks on the hill there, so. We are okay to push here. Really want to deal with that. Yeah, I'm, I guess he was tracked there. Um, that T29 is going to cause us some headaches. Uh, it's a very good tank. Uh, Tiger 1 taking another shot at us. He seems very keen on me, to be honest. And again, I'm not sure where that goes. <clears throat> Uh, and whoever that is doing a good job taking them out or keeping them at bay I just lob a shot in his direction just hoping it hits and pens uh, yeah and he's just looking at me oh that tiger one there if that tiger one, one, one wasn't there I'd be you know going across on that hill and pushing that T29 um, although I don't really fancy my chances at all with the T29 in this thing. He's backed off. We have one tank ahead. Um, so it's still still very up in the air. And then we see that the enemy is going towards our cap. So we're going back to defend the cap. And hoping to stop to... Um, get the right thing across to everyone that we need to go back and defend the base oh yeah I think that was very close to hitting just kind of like leading him uh, but not enough or maybe too much minute man good I'm very surprised that I actually penned um, I'm very good to take that thing out because that's a very OP tank especially when it's plus one minus one I quite often use that one if I uh, having a crappy time take that thing out in plus one minus one and bound to have a good game and that did hit that, that was a very good lead um, I must say um, and he's on a sliver of health uh, we are now t yeah we are winning this by quite a bit now, and that, and we managed to hit that T29. We're trying to get into a position where we get some cover from that thing because he's going to shoot us back. Shoot, uh, and we don't really need. To, if we're going to have to take this guy on, on pretty much on our own, uh, we want all our health because uh, it's going to be very tricky. And uh, we're almost out of normal rounds here as well. I, I think I noticed at some point. Um, around here that I'm almost out of 
normal rounds. And to be honest, I should be switching to APCR for this T29. Anyway, and unfortunately, we didn't take out that KV-85, was it? And he takes out another of our tanks. So unfortunately, this isn't... Uh, and again, don't know what's spotting me. I don't know what's spotting me there. I guess it must be the T-29. Because uh, that other... And that other heavy, that heavy 8KV has taken out the TD. So we are now three on three. Uh, just goes to show you should try to take out every gun in the game as you can. Yachty takes a speculative shot at me because um, finally the KV gets taken out. Um, because there's nothing else to, for him to shoot at so he had a go at me. Uh, and now I'm trapped here because I know the T29 is very close to me and getting spotted. So I kind of want that TD to come and help or spot him up so uh, he can take the attention away. If That's all I want him to do because I know he's a tier 6, guys. He's a tier 6 Hellcat, so he's got no armor. I just need him to distract the T29. And then... Looks like the T29 might not be around here anymore. Uh, the Hellcat is going up around that area and it's just not spotting him. Uh, and I'm actually going to risk going over here. And I'm not, not getting spotted anymore. So um, he must have gone back to def defend his cat. And again, the artillery is taking a speculative shot. Uh, and, uh, and then I change my mind about hitting that tree because then I'll give my position away. Although he's going to be uh, taking a long time to... Um, load his uh, next shot in so we're gonna try to go down into the valley here I was uh, umming and ahhing about it then because they obviously got a good line of sight the artillery arm stuff on me but that uh, we need to get across shots across and any spots at the artillery so we know where the artillery is really need to know where that T29 is to be honest though that is the main danger here and there he is still only taking that one shot from me by the looks of things um, so I'm gonna try to get across here and there he is we can we can see him we can see him uh, and then we lose our penetrating hit bit annoying and then I'm like mm, do I want to push I'm not spotted at this point uh, do I want to ri risk pushing here? And then he does spot me. He misses me. Uh, waiting for the artillery shot to come in. And there's the artillery. has been spotted again. And he's... Take a shot. Because he's actually just fired at me. He misses. And the Hellcat is doing good old p business there. The T29 looks like he's come a bit my way. Because he spotted me again. Yeah, don't know why I'm being so jumpy, because I've got plenty of health to play with right now. And then we get another hit in, he's one shot now. Um, that Hellcat is doing a great job at distracting him. And there we go, another finishing him off for just under 3,000. Um, yeah, well, 3,000 combined pretty much. Um, and we got, what was that, three kills? Was that three kills? Four kills! So we get high calibre uh, and a first class mastery. And yeah, we came second to that Hellcat, uh, who did a very good job too. Uh, yeah, so there you go. That's those two games. I uh, hope you join for my next uh, video. Bye, guys.